I'm going to show you a simplified wiring diagram for how I use the Sevcon Gen 4 controller in my motorcycle application. First things first, we have a 48 volt lithium battery pack composed of 16 individual cells connected in series at approximately 3.3 volts each. Keeping a watchful eye on each of these cells is a Thunderstruck Motors battery management system. This will turn off our charger when any cell reaches 3.8 volts, and it can be used to do a number of things when a cell gets low, such as limit the power from the controller or enable an alarm. The BMS control board is fed information from individual cell modules that go on the negative terminal of each cell. These modules are about as big as a postage stamp and are responsible for the actual monitoring. AC power from your wall outlet is routed through a relay that is powered by the BMS and to the charger. Next we have our motor. In this case I'm using the brushless Motenergy PMAC0913. This receives its three phase power from the controller. The controller serves a similar function to what a carburetor does for a gas engine, which is to regulate the amount of energy going to the motor. There are three large phase leads going between the motor and controller. The battery pack connects to the controller, but first the pack positive goes through a contactor or solenoid, which is pretty much a large switch. Also on the controller is a multi-pin connector that serves several purposes. It powers the contactor when the time is right. It is also where the throttle input goes. I'm using a Magura twist throttle. This is a zero to 5,000 ohm potentiometer that the controller will translate into go power. Also plugging into the multi-pin connector is the key switch and the enable switch. The key will turn on the controller and the enable tells the controller it's okay to go forward. Lastly is the DC to DC converter. This takes the 48 volts from the battery pack and drops it to 12 volts for our onboard accessories such as the lights, display lighting, and the horn.